let's look at uh, the application of expected value in insurance policies. Okay, so an insurance company sells term life insurance policy for a 20-year period. The amount payable if the debt, debt occurs is $75,000. The company actually has calculated that the probability of debt for a 30-year-old man over the next 20 years is 0 0.017 and that a suitable premium is 2000 what is what is the insurance company's expected gain if it sells one of these policy to a 30 year old man so let's understand what the story is about so now this is say a 30 year old man and this is the insurance company okay now what is a, a life insurance policy so let's understand what it means now this Life insurance policy is a contract between uh, a policy holder, suppose here this is a policy holder, suppose this person is interested to, this person is the person who bought the life insurance. So the contract goes like this, this person promises to pay say $2,000 which is the premium year, $2,000 as premium uh, to this company and say I am insuring myself uh, from debt. So what does that mean? So this amount is the cost or the charge that the insurance company takes from this person. And this person, uh, this insurance company promises, what does it promise? It promises in return that if death happens, if death happens, so it's a conditional agreement, if death occurs or happens uh, we would pay your family or your next of kin $75,000 and if death does, doesn't happen this amount would not be refunded so this is a contract between uh, this 30 year old man and this insurance company okay so let's understand the maths behind it so the insurance company does do maths before calculating the calculating the mm, premium okay so what are they saying the probability of death so let me write probability of death if the probability of this person dying within next 20 years or actually this is a term insurance policy so this is this is only for one year so once you pay the premium the contract runs for one one year and if that death happens, you have to, uh, the insurance company pays 75000 So the probability of death of this person is 0 0.017. 0 0.017. So if the probability of death is this, the probability that a person would be alive would be 1 minus this number, this probability, 1 minus 0 0.017. I hope you understand that because 1 is a certain event and this is a probability of the person dying so let's use the calculator so this is 1 minus 0 0.017 which is 0 0.983 so the probability that a person is alive or that person is alive is 0 0.983 okay now what is gain for the let's talk about gain for the insurance company we're talking about the gain for the insurance company so the person, okay, the gain would be there are two types of gain. The per, if the person is alive, if the person is alive, okay, uh, the gain would be the total two thousand dollars. The gain would be two thousand dollars. And if the person dies, okay, if it's death, it would be negative gain. So you would have you already already has you you have already charged the premium. And you have to pay the insurance amount, which is seventy-five thousand. So, the gain is minus seventy-three thousand. The gain is. So there are two scenarios here. One is you gain the two thousand dollars if the person is alive, or you lose seventy-five thousand, seventy-three thousand because you. This is to. This is the premium amount. Take away the insurance amount. Okay. So let's make up. Uh, two columns so the gain so let's call gain as a random variable x and the probability of x is equal to x so there are two gains one is say 2000 
one is the person is alive you gain 2000 or it is minus 73000 then the person is person has died okay unfortunately so the probability the respective probability of a person of a person being so let's make let me write here suppose this is for alive the person is alive there are two scenarios here so this is one is alive and this is when the person has died if death occurs so the respective probability for the person to be alive is 0 0.983 and the probability for a person to die is 0 0.017 so the expected gain so the expected gain so e of x as you know would be sigma x from 1 to n this is 1 let me use a smaller eraser this is x xi x or uh, this is i runs from 1 to n this is the general formula 1 to n of xi times probability of xi so here what you have to do is you have to multiply this probability this gain times the probability and add this add to this times this so the, basically what you do is this is 2000 I'll explain the meaning of this times 0 0.983 plus uh, minus 73,000 this is when the person has unfortunately died 0 0.017 so let's get the calculator out so this is 2000 times 0 0.983 plus minus 73,000 times 0 0.017 so the gain is $725 so what does that mean the expected gain for the insurance company is $725 now what's what does this number mean or this amount means this means if this policy if this policy is sold for a number of people okay for a huge number of people on an average the insurance company would gain $725 because when you're selling uh, this insurance policy to a number of people there are two outcomes one is the person is alive or the other or the other possibility is the person dies so if you over a long period of time if it's sold for a number of people say for thousands of people on an average you can say the insurance company would gain 725 dollars